Welcome back to that incredible BMW refresh and maintenance. All right, so we have been uh, having a few troubles this morning, but everything is sorted out at the moment. So that is a great thing. And uh, yeah, just let's keep going. I'm not sure anyone is here yet, so we're just going to send it and uh, basically uh, start where we were, which means that wheel in there. And look at this, the bushin is back in place. Holy crap, and I'm late. I'm late, I have to say that I am late. So sorry for that. And the stream might be a bit shorter, we will see. Uh, I still have like stuff to do today. So the car, I won't stop until I'm happy with where we are at. Cause basically I'm planning on just having tomorrow morning to complete the car. So yeah, we will see uh, where we are heading and uh, that's gonna be great. All right, I'm just reading something for this weekend event, so... All right, sounds great. Perfect, I asked a question concerning what uh, paper I had to bring with me uh, for the weekend and I got an answer that's pretty much everything I needed to know. So yeah, let's go, let's dive into it. So. We're gonna be reassembling the brake assembly at the back uh, right now because uh, basically this is curing at the moment. Uh, I did something a bit funky, uh, but at the same time it did work. So uh, like I said this morning, I basically uh, scratched the surface just to give a bit more resistance into it because the bushing was sliding in and out uh, a bit too much. I then uh, added some uh, dent uh, into the bushing surface just to make something to grip onto so uh basically at that point the bushing won't go uh will not go uh inside the bushing mount here in the hub uh, inside the hub without uh the press so that was a win and just to make sure that it's not going to move at all during the weekend and uh, maybe for a really really long time uh, I basically added a touch of uh, GB Weld uh, so future me is gonna hate me honestly future me is gonna hate me because that thing is probably not going to move easily and if I have to uh, remove it from the hub which will happen in the future for sure well it's gonna be a pain in the ass but at the same time I prefer to be overkill for this weekend event then to be uh, a bit too much uh, on the loose side, let's say. So, yep, we are going to do that. So, all right, let's keep going. So everything is put back together in there. So we will see how it's going, but uh, I'm pretty sure that will do the job. So from now on, uh, that means we can just go ahead and basically put everything back into place like that just make sure we're not missing anything and uh, since we haven't touched any component the handbrake should still be working fine without any further adjustment or anything but uh, yeah we will have to check it out and that's if I can screw that bolt in place yes I can all right yeah, that wasn't easy. Uh, honestly, this morning it took a lot of effort to not press the panic button because uh, basically, yeah, I mean, I know I'm going in onto a 10 hour drive uh, with that car on in two days and having a part not fitting properly when you just destroyed the, the part uh, just that wasn't there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't feel great. Honestly, it doesn't feel great at all. So, uh, yep. But I'm pretty confident that we're fixed and I'm gonna bring uh, the other uh, spare part even though it's not fitting properly uh, just in case because we can always find someone to help us make it work out there uh, in the US if needed so yeah that's pretty much it right so we will try to speed run that uh, to speed run my 
my pronunciation this afternoon, gosh. Yeah, so we will try to speed run uh, the brick uh, assembling here, uh, just to make sure that uh, we're not losing too much time on that. Uh, I would love to have tackled on this. Then after that, we have a, an exhaust rattle to fix. So we're gonna take a look at this and see uh, how it's going, but uh, it should be all right. But yeah, I really need to get uh, to a certain uh, amount of work done for tonight. If I wanna have the time for a test drive tomorrow afternoon, cause basically my plan is tomorrow, uh, beginning of the afternoon, I'm gonna go uh, with, for a test drive where I'm gonna put a lot of stress on the back uh, just to make sure that it's, it's handling properly. And if everything's okay, uh, then I'm gonna be pretty confident for the weekend. So, yep, that's pretty much it. This and this one here. So basically I'm gonna make sure it's not moving at all. So I'm gonna put some uh, yellow mark on there probably and uh, yeah just make sure that everything stays in place so this way we should be able to have no worries at all during the weekend all right cool so backing plate is in place now we're gonna have to reassemble the brake shoes in there so the one with the spring was the one coming at the bottom here. And this is where the pain is starting, pretty much. So this, this might want to start with the upper one, like that, into that, I think, yep. And then uh, this one here going like this. Yup. And then this one here going like that. Marks are lining up, so that's pretty good. I might just already put one of the spring at the top there just making sure good afternoon by the way everybody good afternoon oh so 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 you're going on this way i'm pretty sure i just put some Disgusting break dust on my face. All right, so this is in place. Let's just put it this way. So that's gonna work like that, like that. Perfect, so that one is holding into place, which is perfect. Then we will need this, this and this. So big spring towards the mechanism here, like that. That in theory should be able to get right into place, but nothing is holding that. So what was I doing? Ah, oh, yeah, I think I was using a wrench, a locking wrench, just to lock it into place, basically. Yeah, I think that was one of the thing I was doing in there. So this guy was doing that that and that like that everything is in its good position here yep and basically i'm just going to grab something to lock it in place here and just put my spring in place that was the idea yep pretty sure that's it that is the tricks all right let's do this Boom. This one here. This one in here. And basically just that in here. Bam. And then just have to find a place to 
clamp it. Try not to move everything out of its place. That should be it. Oops. Whoopsie doopsie. This one here, yep, like that. If I can just keep it in place here, that will be great. Almost. Almost. kind of want to try to go super fast but at the same time I think it's gotta be a good idea to take my time Maybe if I just um, having a bit of difficulties just to put everything in place and keeping it into place said place so this here I was about to do that. That would be working if it was not of this. Well, technically this is working. All right, let's try that. If I'm holding a bit of tension in there, I will probably be able to bring that spring to its place so let's do it let's just try to bring no that's no good now it's gonna be hard it's thick yep now it's gonna be impossible All right i'm gonna lock both of the braking shoes into place see if that helps at all all right that's locked so that I'm happy with that ow that was my the side of my hand That could help. All right, let's try with the big spring then. See if we can make it work. This one in here is gonna go inside here. So if you wanna see a bit better, let me bring you with me. And I'm throwing the cam on the ground again, or almost. That was a close call. There you go. So basically, uh, we are holding uh, both shoes into place. I'm going to try to keep that in here, keep that in there. Just keep a bit of tension on it. And basically, I'm going to try to grab the spring at the back here, which is done now. And I'm going to try to just put it into place, which not good. it's not going to be easy. But at the same time, it's part of the job. Just like that. to slide it a bit on the screwdriver and push it towards where it should go and there we go first spring done all right that one that went in pretty well i remember having a lot more trouble putting that in place and now with the second spring uh, the hard part is just to keep it on the screwdriver if i remember correctly because yeah basically it wanna it want to slide in there we go was that a first shot that was almost a first shot right holy crap and i said this morning that we will be having so much trouble on that look at this we basically have done it 
first shot. That's a speed run. That's a proper speed run. Damn. Let's go. All right. Let's put back the disc brake in there. So uh, we will basically align the centering hole here into place, making sure yep, everything's closing properly. So there we go. And we're gonna put it back that little lock here. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to add a bit of uh, anti-size uh, in here just because uh, basically the spacer is not in really great shape. So uh, yeah, let's go, let's do this. Just making sure everything is cleared, yep. Because uh, we don't want to hear uh, the wheel sliding into the backing plate. That will suck a little bit. There we go. Clean. All right. And then we just add this part back. The rear is gonna be done if it's going in place. Oh my God, why is it not going into place? All right, yep, yeah, it is. There you go. Damn, that was a pretty quick uh, reassembly of the brake system. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah. Cool. At some point, I would love to uh, paint those caliper into a, a, a cool color. I was thinking about blue. I think like the yellow ch chucks with the blue caliper will look super cool. Like the same blue they used on the BMW M5 uh, from a few years ago. That will be insane. Is it threading? Yep, it is. All right. And the one at the bottom there. There you go, baby boo. So let's use that. Uh, that was a 16 mil, if I remember correctly. And I think I threw it. Uh, we by mistakes is this through yep i think so there we go um yep so basically a uh, 16 mil it's gonna go here just put it as far as i can go yep Brake system, it's important to be firm, but you don't want to go too crazy on the torque, too, because you want to keep in mind that this is serviceable, so you don't want to stretch that bolt and basically uh, ruin the thread on it. So, yep, it's super important to be like careful on how much force you apply to those components. So, is done we're not going to put back the wheel just yet because it's not the same wheel that's gonna go on the car uh, at this point uh, basically I'm planning on uh, putting my uh, normal wheel on it just I say normal it's basically the one I'm using to drive a uh, long distance usually uh, it's just that this year I decided that I will run the beautiful new lightweight wheel I bought last year because they look awesome, but yeah, for the long distance we're gonna be uh, going this weekend, well, it's probably better to, uh, yeah, make sure that it's gonna hold in place. I've moved something in here, I think. All right, let's go, boom. So, that went super quick, 20 minutes. 
just in and everything is back into place all right so uh yeah we're gonna uh just go ahead and uh, basically let's try to just move that a little bit at the top there yep and we're gonna uh, bring the car at the top of the lift if it's going to i think it's clearing the ceiling we're not, but i'm not sure just yet so let's find out and after that we're gonna go under the car and try to see where that exhaust rattle is coming from so let's go hopefully i can go full length without uh, any problem with the ceiling it should but it's always scary the hood is not open so that's a good thing How much do I have left? About six inches, so I should be fine. And I'm on the last step there, so I can just go back there. Boom. This is a flush mount there. This is really, really flush. That's just perfect. Honestly, that's a perfect fit. Another reason why that hoist was the best idea ever. All right then, uh, so let's try... Oh my God, I think I've already spotted the problem. All right, so let's try to see if we can uh, find where the exhaust is rattling. Because we hate those little uh, metallic sound when you're idling at a light. Because yeah, basically it's only happening when I'm a... Uh, stuff at full stop on high on idle so we're gonna and when i'm like just moving around it's not doing any sound just slightly touching the gas pedal and it's gone so that's kind of weird so let's try to find that but before coffee time hmm great coffee in my tummy All right then, uh, so what's going on inside here? Here I have something that seems to be crushed and everything in here seems to be quite loose. So that might be the reason why. Oh, that's bad. I also have one part here that wires have a bit burned in onto the exhaust system i think so i'm gonna have to make sure this is staying at the top yep, there's something in here i think that is missing for the o2 sensors i'm gonna make sure it's staying on top there because yeah wires have, they haven't melt but the heat shield the heat protection shield on it did this is still in good shape there's something that we can move on yet but this is not bad this is not in perfect shape but this is not too bad like i have a few things in there that's a bit loose so basically i think this is what i'm hearing so move a bit closer but yeah i think this is one of the part i'm hearing so i might try to just grab a bit of uh, not a tire wrap, but just something to hold it in place so that should do it because basically the exhaust line itself is in pretty good shape this is good this is good this is good so i don't think it's anything in here this part here so is supposed to be being up there I think and it's going towards that's a bit weird this is going straight onto the drive shaft so we're gonna try to maybe play with it I don't know if you can see it but at the front here I'm going like this just moving it forward 
That was a close call. I need to get better at that, right? Because right now uh, I'm doing that all the time. All right, so yeah, maybe you will see it, but basically in here, there's some uh, different things, there a bit of stuff in there, and it seems to be going straight onto uh, the drive shaft, which is not supposed to happen, I think. Yeah, I think there's just some part of it that's gone. At the same time, it doesn't seem to cause any problem in here. So it's probably not too bad, but yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh, there is the rattle. This is broken. <laughs> All right, this is what I hear on the road. I thought it was the heat shield over there, but it is not. It's definitely that. Damn, that sucks. All right, how are we going to fix that? I could probably spot weld that. I just tack it into place so it doesn't move at all. I have a place here I can weld or I can weld it this way. Yeah, this will do, but at the back, it's gonna still be moving. And I could do the same in here. Talk, talk there. This and this, that wouldn't move at all. Isn't PV in here? Cause we're, we might be welding stuff. Yep, that was not what I was what I was expecting. And that thing has been damaged a bit. Holy crap. Was it? Yeah, I think so. I'm losing a bit of transmission oil at the back, so at some point I think I'm gonna be uh, removing that at the but at the rear here and uh, basically just uh, Placing the seal, the rear seal of the transmission because it's definitely leaking a touch. And uh, that rubber uh, bushing between the drive shaft and the transmission might need a replacement soon. It seems cracked a little bit. So next year, I think those components here are going to be the main thing we're gonna do. Just making sure that uh, it is uh, as good as it can possibly be in there. So, because we love that BMW. So, yep. Pretty confident this is the plan for this afternoon. We're gonna fix that by just throwing a bit of welding into there. Uh, I think I can weld that. Is that some stainless steel? No, it shouldn't be. Well, it might be. Hmm. We will try. We'll just give it a try and see if it's welding or not. So basically I'm just going to ground myself somewhere and uh, send it properly. And then yeah, that should be good for the weekend. It's not a big deal though. I could probably just manage to do something with a bit of, I don't know. I will put tension on it. Yeah, I feel like it's still going to move a lot. Okay, we're just holding that, that, and that at the front three in three places. It will do it, or even just two, not three. Yeah, in three places that will do it, and then at the back, uh, just one or two, uh, maybe just one place, just to hold a bit of tension, and it wouldn't move at all anymore. All right, let's try that, I think. I think that's gonna be the play in here. Yep. Basically, I'm gonna ground myself probably at the back here, right into the bolt of that tube, so it's gonna be a straight connection between those. Yep, yep, yep. Well, let's bring the welder into place. All right. 
so I'm gonna just move you there so you will see everything that's going on but yeah we'll be fixing that thing in here add something at the back here just to make sure and basically we will be done for the underside of the car except the oil change so that should be good that should be pretty pretty good all right then oh uh, so okay this one has broke this way all right so if i'm rolling that this and, the, and at the back like i said that there that should work perfectly without any concerns cool welder it's welding season let's see we, if we are able to do something with that i'm not sure but we will have to try there we go and then we're gonna be moving that at the front here i don't have a long cable so we're gonna have to take care about that this this where is the welding mask? It's in there, right? Yep, it is. Pump, 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 pump. It's a bit dirty, but it's gonna do the work. So it shouldn't be a long job. This is working. If we're going in here, that will do the job perfectly as a ground. That will be connected straight to the part we need. Like this, is it going to hold its place? I think so. That it's gonna be a low setting weld, super slow wires because basically we don't want to go through the exhaust. I'm even going to start on A setting just because we want to make sure and maybe put the gloves because I don't want to burn myself all right bit of wash just making sure we are on some metal two metal parts here that should weld I'm gonna use some existing weld to uh, just tack it into place. So let's try that. Dirty, right? Just going to clean this so it doesn't look as bad and uh, will have a better flow for the gas because basically the last time i've used it i was a bit dirty on it so everything didn't go as planned i don't remember oh yeah yeah i've been just a bit nasty with it all right that's the first time i'm gonna be welding on stream hopefully it's not going to be helpful it sure is going to be this, this, that. And, uh, all right, let's test that thing here. Yep, it does work. small cutter just going to remove that at the front wait for me
there you go. That's way cleaner. All right. Let's send this. It is not grounded properly. Why? Too much rust on the bolt at the back? Maybe. What's that sound? All right, something's not working properly in here. Hmm. So if you're not grounded to that, it might be through this, right? Yep, you are. All right, let's try that. in there so let's try that again but with trying to do it properly this time I'm just going to in fact I didn't go through the exhaust just go through the, the heat shield which is okay but basically <laughs> I've already welded it a little bit so that did work Use TTS if you want to talk to me at the moment. Let's try to add a second one in there. I'm gonna bring you over here so you're gonna light everything for me. Let's try that. So basically I'm gonna weld right here. And the light from the webcam is going to help me. find a good position and a good place to see what I'm doing because I'm not a pro welder who can do it just there we go so this way this won't move at all now we just need to fix it at the back so this is bad but that was the first try, okay? Don't judge. Don't be too judgeful. Now, let's try to do the same thing over here. So we're gonna do the same thing at the back here. There. So just one little weld to hold everything in place. So the way I'm gonna do it is probably by putting that like this and going to tack the heat shield straight into place there. So let's try it. Let's see how it's going. Well, that's a hard spot to reach.
That's a super hard spot to reach. Maybe it's gonna be easier from this side. Oh, I'm gonna have to remove the chair to have enough space to move. I don't think it did work. Oh, it did. All right, I have one bad spot in there, but I haven't touched the integrity of it. I think it might. I almost burned myself badly. Holy crap, that was close. Oh, I did. All right, that's bad. <laughs> it's inside the shirt on the magnet holding the mic. All right, let's do this. Let's remove that. Now we should be good. <laughs> that was bad. Did it went through the shirt? All right, give me two sec. <laughs> oh, that was super bad. Actually, it is holding on. How come it didn't burn through the shirt? I'm surprised. Alright, this, this. Let me grab the back. And here. There we go, back on track. Now, if I was to do that, that might give it a chance to hold for longer than just a little bit. That's better. Yep, that's way better. All right. So it should give us enough holding on that to uh, be able to stay in there. There we go. It's not beautiful. I don't like those kind of little welds on rusty stuff, but it did work. And that's my helmet going on the ground. All right. Let's move back with the welder and just put everything back in place. Oh man, I almost burnt my chest, honestly, like badly. That would have sucked. There you go. All right then. So what's going on in here? So many things. What a super calm stream this afternoon. Holy crap, that's crazy. Usually there's a few people and now I'm all alone. It's all good. Stuff is moving forward. This is the important, like every time I'm streaming, it's basically just because I'm working on cars. Well, not every time, but like when it's not video games, it's because I have to work on my cars and I'm like, oh, why not? doing some content with that if there's someone to watch well that's cool and if there's no one well it doesn't matter the work still go still move forward and this is the important part of it right all right so 
this is done, this is done. This is okay, this is cool. So basically, let me just uh, put the welder back in place. And PV will be so proud. We did weld the exhaust. It was maybe not on the BRZ, but we did it in the end. Wow. That's going to make the road so much better. So like that rattling was driving me crazy. Let's take care to not hit the head on top there. There we go. And move that at the back here. Just move that a bit on the side. And there we go. Boom. That's back in place. Let's grab this, grab that. Put that in here. Bam, put that in there, bam. And there we go. Let's go. That can go in the trash. Uh, where's the spare one? Now that I think about it, I think I put it back in a box already. Just want to make sure. Yup, I did. All right. So next step. Uh, basically, we're just going to add a little bit of steel wire in there. I have a spare one here we're gonna use just to basically hold the, the last part of the heat shield into place and with that uh, we should be all good with the exhaust system which is awesome. So let's grab this, let's grab the plier and let's go back under the car. Back there so I'm gonna try to show it to you properly. That's more like this. All right, so this is the part we're just going to fix quickly. Uh, nothing super uh, crazy. We're just going to put some steel wire in there just to make it uh, hold properly. I just need to find a way of going through that because uh, there's basically a little bolt at the back here so maybe I could use it like this yep that will do it right basically that will not be able to move under like over the bolt at all Damn, that should prevent it from moving too much. And now, let's just grab that and basically... See how it just went into place and now it's not moving at all? And now I just broke the steel wire. That's exactly what we wanted without the end here without that breaking. So I just went a bit too far on the tension. So that's fine, we're just gonna add a new one. Classic. That's something that does happen a lot to me. Like I'm just going a, like a little bit too far on it and it's not super happy after that. right at the beginning there you go and then there we go and this is not moving anywhere let's just cut the because there's a lot of it at the back yeah there we go and then push it right at the top here boom for at least quite a few like for at least this year and maybe next year it's gonna hold there 
After that, we will have to find another solution, but that's fine for me. So that's cool. Last thing will be the uh, O2 sensors in here. Uh, it's not holding in place properly. I will try something. I see that there is basically, let me show you. Like if you look at those wires here, so like that, like this these wires has a bit of loose that can be created by this plastic tab here and basically the cable the wire can fall onto the the exhaust and it has been the case because i see some burnt mark on it and the heat shield has been like the heat sleeve on it has been a bit damaged so i'm just going to see if i can go through that and hold it at the top here and i think i can that will be insane because basically that will allow me to come back through there and just hold it in place almost there let's try to give it a bit more bent on it maybe that's gonna work or maybe not who knows no it's not working not coming through where I would want it to come through. Uh, it's just straightening up. Straightening up. That word. And now can I go on the other side then? Almost. I feel like that was a almost. Hmm. That's it. Let's see. I see it. Come on. Let's go there. Can I grab it? That will make the perfect thing to just hold it in place like this and the only thing i will say is that i'm not a big fan of steel wires to hold uh electrical wires in here so basically i might just add a bit of tape well at the same time it has a sleeve so it should be okay it's gonna be better than thing on the exhaust so that's for sure like that and I don't need tension on it I just need to prevent it from falling there we go this way it's, it cannot fall and I might even need to add another one at the back here but that will be just perfect. It's funny because my steel wires had some red paint and I know exactly where it's coming from because of that. Can I add one in here? That would be so perfect if it fits and I don't need to go cut another one. Yeah, it's fitting. All right, let's go. There we go. This way, everything's gonna be held into place like this. Like that. This way, the wire will never come down on the exhaust again. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Mais non, pas encore fini. Mais non. Je vais travailler aussi demain matin dessus. Bon après-midi, comment vas-tu? Je viens de souder un petit morceau de heat shield euh, ici qui était dessus, qui venait à côté dessus euh, le char. Ensuite de ça, euh, j'ai vu que mes fils de O2 sensor étaient à risque de fondre sur l'exhaust, fait qu'on vient de fixer ça. 
j'ai fini de réparer euh, mon bearing, euh, pas mon bearing, mais ma bouchine euh, qu'il y avait là-bas. Euh, c'est un peu redneck, mais ça va le faire pour là parce que j'avais pas d'autre solution pour être prêt. On est dans le classique, ça fonctionnait, j'aurais pas dû y toucher, mais j'y ai touché, so on va assumer puis on va réparer en temps. Fait que. Mais c'est ça, la bouchine là, au final, ça a été un peu de la merde. Ça a été un peu de la merde, tout ça, mais euh, pas eu le choix. Là. Je pense que le futur moi va m'haïr parce qu'en gros, euh, qu'est-ce que j'ai fait? C'est assez simple, c'est que je suis arrivé puis j'ai. Euh, passer un coup de papier sablé pour rendre rugueux les deux surfaces. Fait que la surface extérieure de la bouchine, euh, vu que c'est une, une sleeve en métal, puis la surface intérieure euh, du hub qui accueille la bouchine. Fait que pour qu'il y ait plus de friction, c'était pas tout à fait assez. Fait que j'ai continué en euh, faisant des petites dents euh, au fond avec un punch, juste faire des petites pocs dans la surface, ce qui fait que j'ai eu du métal qui a comme, tu sais, qui a fait une espèce de cratère. Donc, oui, qui creuse au centre du punch, mais qui relève le métal de ses côtés. Ce qui a créé vraiment ça, ça a fait en sorte que là, elle rentrait plus euh, de façon free à l'intérieur. Puis j'ai rajouté au fond une petite couche euh, de GB Weld, fait que de colle à métal euh, entre les deux pour que ça tienne en place tout ça. Parce que sinon, c'est à risque que la table slide in and out euh, dedans. Fait que euh, c'est bon. Bon ben, ciao, ciao, bonne route. Sois prudent. Right, that's done, that's done. That's still holding, that's okay. That's no big deal. Oh, uh, other than that. Yeah, that might cause a bit of rattling, but I don't think I'm hearing that at all. Subframe bushings are still in place and looks pretty good. Nothing seems to have cracked because this is one big deal with these uh, model. They can crack uh, on the rear uh, subframe, so it's super important to watch for that. Everything is still tight in here. Yep, let's just make a, a quick checkup. This is good. Bit of oil up there. That's fine. That's fine. This is holding tight now and it's getting super strong in there. All right, I think we're done. Other side of the car is done. Cool. Let's keep going. Next one is gonna be uh, some wiring uh, in the trunk. There's a bit of loose wire in there, so we're gonna have to fix that. And yeah, let's just make it happen. That was my flyer. Cool. Let's just change the camera. Damn. And uh, let's raise it a little bit. Let's remove the safeties. There. And then there. Cool. And then, oh uh, yeah, so, yeah, that one is okay. That's good. Let's put the car down uh, almost fully, but not because we're missing a wheel. That's a good idea. All right. That's perfect for me. We're gonna be working in here. So, what's going to happen inside here? Let me show you. Just gonna remove the webcam cable in here and I'm gonna extend the mount. Bam. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Hee <laughs> hee, classic. I will need to go even further up. Let's go full extension. Boop. All right. 
So let me show you guys. So basically, uh, that seems pretty good at the moment. Uh, we have the uh, compressor in here and oh, it's starting to show up. Just wait for it. Look at this. We have some loose wires in here. So we're gonna be just adding a shield to that because I know if I don't, at some point, I'm gonna ruin it. So just going to make sure it's okay. And we're gonna remove that because basically that wheel is a no one of my uh, standard wheel I'm using for uh, road and uh, not my racing wheel. And that was just used as a spare at the moment, but yeah. I'm gonna switch that and put it on the car for the road trip. So that said, uh, yeah, for now, let's just put this onto the wiring loom in there. Little bit of wires at the back for the lights. So basically what we're gonna do is take that apart part there let's put this back into place here and then we're going to start from this side of the car just toss every wires inside there we're gonna move our way to the the other side look at this this is beautiful this is what we want so easy to do and like it's so good looking even though it's not some uh, actual uh, high quality one it's still gonna be way better than what I have on the like just having loose wires because at some point I'm gonna cut something and it's gonna fail so that's not what we want at least that's not what I want Go. I have two wires coming down here. Just going to put them in there too. Just making sure everything's following all together properly. And then we're gonna tie wrap it, put some tape on it to make sure it's all secured. And then we're gonna tie wrap everything, just making sure everything is super secured. So let me grab the tape for that. I have electrical tape, but I also have that one that's supposedly doing the job for this. So the one like in uh, feels more like clothing than clothing than anything else. So that should work pretty well. Let's see. Let me just wrap it over here. With that, it's looking pretty neat, honestly. So I might just go and wrap the entire thing with that tape, because it's looking way better. <laughs> like way, way better. I might even go test drive the car late tonight so that way I'm gonna know right tomorrow morning if it's working or not because I had a six hour wait for it it was 14 so basically at 20 I'm okay with that it's gonna be all uh, properly uh, I cured so I should be able to test that bush and fix tonight which will be great
right. That's looking good. That's exactly the kind of things we want to do on the Datsun. Looks making everything look neat and in good condition, like brand new. This, let's continue over there. So this is the one here. Let's go. I think the end is gonna be around here. Because basically after that, all the loom is plating up. So, yep, I think it's gonna be something like this. So let's keep going with that. So I'm going to be cutting uh, what's exceeding in there and then yeah, we're going to be good. But for now, let's grab a bit of water this time because water is super important. I need to find my real full size uh, cutter again. I don't know where it is. Where did I cut? With the feeling. There we go. see it closer let me show you sorry for all that movement but look at this this is so much better so now we just have two cable total that we will secure in there so that's pretty insane that's what we like improvement so uh, let's grab a few tie wrap and we're just going to uh, basically secure that in there Ouch, that was my fingers. Maybe some... They are maybe a bit too big. No, these ones are perfect. Let's go. So, I'm gonna use some simple tie wrap like this and just secure it in places where I'm sure we're not going to hit it. 
with anything so this way we're gonna make sure it's not breaking I have two metal tab in here that will be perfect for this usage and I thought I was sliding in it and I did right, that's what I thought there you go there we go that's one place secured and uh, on the other hand and here we might secure it like that we will see gonna do the same thing with the other metal tab here I'm gonna remove that so it's not in the way and it's starting to become a mess in here working on two cars that's not the greatest idea Right, that that and if I was able to just add another one in here but I don't think I will it will be possible sadly yep, I will just have missed less one less in here that will have been great but doesn't matter that's gonna work that's gonna work so at least the wires are not all loose in there so that's great all right it's so hot holy crap it's hot at the moment so after that I just want to put back the panel in there like uh, uh, usually the autocross uh, rules is pretty simple it's anything that's loose can be removed so uh, basically uh, the, I have a panel like a uh, just a panel coming on top here uh, that can be removed for autocross I'm just going to put it back just to make sure that it's not different in the States uh, just like you don't want to be uh, look at for something missing on the car so I'm just going to put that in there I still have the uh, six CDs uh, <laughs> I have the six CDs uh, thing in there to uh, for the radio that's crazy like Basically, if you want to see that, let me show you, like that, that thing in here, this is a metal box that just to hold CDs, so that's pretty crazy. I also have uh, this thing here, which is the original uh, toolbox that's in the trunk here. So I'm going to be, uh, I think, removing uh, most of it right now, just because I don't need that. I have always my toolbox with me uh, when going on a race and uh, it's technically some weight I can say so I have the old rusty plier in here the old rusty screwdriver in here I have this fantastic uh, tow hook uh, this is the only thing that might be useful at some point so I'm gonna put it in there because I have one at the front but I don't have any at the rear so I'm just going to remove this which is a few pounds no, nothing much but you even have this kind of things that's pretty big crazy I'm gonna put that in a BMW box here that I have just to preserve it but yeah so basically and even that I think I'm gonna put it in something that is gonna be removed during the race but that will come with me when I don't need it so there you go that's something less to do in the car that was not supposed to be done today but why not why not all right uh where's the mouse I had the mouse it's in here let's go uh let's go back there and then uh let's see what's going on in here all right so what have we done so far so far the rear bushing is done the exhaust that was loose is done the air filter is not done but the trunk wiring is done uh, rear diffuser that's true we have a diffuser problem at the back that we need to fix so let's try to nail this so car is coming up 
and I'm just going to close that because we know what happens when you let something open on the hoist. We saw that with the VRZ, not going to happen again today. Not on my watch. That's gonna be an easy fix at the back. Okay, so let me bring that down so you will be able to see what's going on. All right, bam, bam, you can almost see that perfectly at the moment, but yeah, let's just show you. All right, so basically uh, the rear diffuser uh, is just missing a little part in here and uh, that causes it to be loose on that corner so that's really not great i just saw that uh today uh basically i think uh something on the track on the racetrack just hit that part here and now basically it's super loose so it can just fly uh, when i'm running and everything so we're just gonna add a tie wrap in there i don't want to go too crazy and try to fix that with anything special just going to throw a tie wrap that's gonna do the job so i'm gonna grab uh something to drill through that make a hole in that plastic and after that well we're just going to uh basically add that tire wrap so no big deal nothing crazy keep it simple it's gonna work so do i have anything to drill through that close well yes i do right there So how big is that tie rod that I probably left in the trunk, right? Of course I did. It's gonna be big like this, I say. So let's try to... Uh, are you in there? No, they are not. What? Where did I put it? Oh, over there. It's all good. All right, so basically, uh, maybe I can try to show you even better than that. Whee! It's gonna fall down. Wow, point. There you go. And there you go. Boom. So yeah, so basically what we are looking for is just making a hole here and go grab that with a tie wrap at the back here the little place where it was supposed to be uh, bolted to so uh since that thing just got uh, freaking destroyed well we're just going to throw a hole in here somewhere it's not going to like show up too much like that and then we're gonna throw that little tie wrap in there and hoping that it will last forever and ever like this like that and then like that in that thingy here little plastic tab from the bumper I'm able to in there and like this and actually let me do it in another way i'm gonna make sure that we don't see the big head of tyra it's gonna be even cleaner see this way This way it's not even going to show up at all. Mm 
Damn. It's not going anywhere with that. And it's not looking too bad. All right, that's another thing done. See, it was no big deal working on the BMW today. It was really just a matter of like fixing stuff. okay that's okay what else let's see that little post-it I have so rear diffuser is done cool uh, other than that uh, tr -tr 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 -tr. that's something for tomorrow hmm I don't think we're gonna try to hit anything in here that's too big with the bad luck of this morning. I don't want to push too far. I don't want to push my luck, so yep. Just going to wait. To wait a little bit. All right, what else? Uh, air filter. Yeah, I think that one could be something we do today. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so. Just gonna take a look of what's the thing that are going on with that f uh, air filter. Just making sure there's no big deal of removing because I know it needs to dry for a few hours at least. So I just wanna make sure it's not like 24 freaking hours. Yeah, here the oil and the the cleaner and this thing in here i think i need to basically uh yeah apply cleaner rinse with fresh uh, water all right yeah it's the dry the filter that can be quite long except if i'm just uh basically Hmm. I guess it's not too bad if I'm just uh, basically uh, using a pressurized air uh, to dry it. So that could be a thing. Well, at least we can uh, put back the put the car down. Uh, maybe I will just throw the wheel in there, making sure everything is okay. Uh, so that will be done. I need to grab the wheel at the back of the garage, so that's not something I want to do right now. That's going to be things for tomorrow morning, I think. Honestly, what else do we have? Is there anything worth doing at the moment since the stream is super common and everything? I might just call it for now, making sure everything is drying into place, no pressure on anything, so that will be good. Is it better with no pressure or with pressure, because basically you want it to be in space. I think it's gonna be good this way. Air filter, oil, this is two things we can uh, do tomorrow morning. Uh, plastic trim inside, uh, that's something we can add uh, super easily. Uh, the badge, si le stream count accurate, on est en tête à tête. Yeah, je pense que oui pour de vrai, puis je sais pas pourquoi. Honnêtement, ça me fait un peu chier parce que genre ça fait une heure et demie, tu sais, j'ai été en retard aujourd'hui. Ça fait une heure et demie puis j'ai l'impression que personne ne s'est pointé, mais je me demande si la notif a été poussée correctement ou quoi que ce soit. Fait que, anyway, whatever. Allô Kev, comment vas-tu? Comment se passe ta journée? Uh, C'est fixe! C'est fixe, by the way. Tout le monde a cancel cet après-midi pour être sûr de ne pas voir mes fails ou mes trucs trop redneck. Parce que c'est un peu redneck au final, c'est un petit peu redneck. Mais j'ai confiance puis je pense que le futur moi va m'haïr tout simplement parce que clairement j'ai poussé... Euh, genre j'ai été overkill un petit peu pour être sûr que ça bouge pas. Fait que 
il y a du GB Weld Involve euh, là-dedans, puis gars, écoute, ça bougera pas. Nice, 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 très cool. Fait que non, c'est ça, fait qu'honnêtement, tout est en place, tout est en train de, tu sais, le GB Weld, c'est 4 à 6 heures de séchage, fait que... Ouais, non, c'est ça, ça va être... Euh, honnêtement, j'ai pris le guess que... Tu sais, ce qui est... En gros, ma, ma logique a été... À date, ça fonctionnait, tu sais, il a vraiment fallu que je le presse en place, puis ça n'a pas été facile. Fait que là-dessus, je suis sûr et certain qu'on est correct. Puis avec le GB Weld, c'est la touche de safety de trop, genre de vraiment de surplus. Fait que comme ça, on ne prend pas de chance. Euh, quitte à ce que ça se peut que ça me coûte un hub. Ça se peut déjà changer le hub assembly au complet. Par contre, le truc que je me dis, c'est que euh, tout autour, c'est du métal. Il y a juste cette bouchine-là dans ce coin-là. Le reste, c'est tout du métal. Ce qui fait qu'au besoin, écoute, je vais pouvoir la chauffer à rouge. Ça me tente pour la sortir, tout ça. Fait que normalement, genre, je peux pousser le centre euh, comme j'ai fait à matin. Euh, la, la détruire en poussant le centre, puis ensuite juste la brûler au complet euh, jusqu'à temps que ça sorte. Puis sinon, il y a tout le temps moyen aussi de scier pour enlever la tension. Fait que euh, là-dessus, je pense que j'ai des solutions potentielles, tout ça, pour la sortir au besoin, mais ça bougera pas. Man, ça bougera pas pour ce week-end. Fait que avant l'année prochaine, c'est même pas un concern. Puis si ça se trouve, c'est elle de l'autre bord qui va lâcher en premier. Fait que no big deal, to be fair. Fait que non, c'est ça. Fait que c'est vraiment, vraiment chill à ce niveau-là. Euh, puis, basically, j'ai trouvé mon rattle d'exhaust euh, que j'avais au slalom qui me gossait. Euh, genre, quand j'étais à l'idle, sa ligne de départ, tout ça, ou d'un pit, euh, j'avais tout le temps un rattle que j'entendais. Pareil, comme quand je, euh, même chose quand j'allais au service au volant. Fait que c'est fixé. J'ai taqué euh, des soudures pas très belles, mais genre... Sérieux, soudé sur de la rouille. Puis là, en ce moment, je pense que c'est un des heat shields en stainless sur de l'acier. Fait que tu sais, je suis pas équipé pour ça, mais j'ai réussi à faire fondre juste assez de métal que ça tient. C'est ça l'important. Fait que <rire> j'ai taqué ça en place. Ça bouge plus d'une miette. Fait qu'on va voir si ça toffe euh, sur le long terme. Mais pour l'instant, c'est bien correct. Puis ça devrait le faire pour le week-end euh, sans problème. Fait que, euh, puis anyway, c'était juste un petit rattle. Le heat shield, il tient en place. C'est vraiment lui qui entoure le catalyseur. Mais c'est ça, il n'était pas euh, top-notch euh, en soi. Fait que ça, c'est fait. Fait qu'en en ce moment, honnêtement, il reste le filtreur, le changement d'huile à faire, ce qui est très, très chill. Le filtreur, c'est de le cleaner, c'est un KNN. Puis euh, ensuite de ça, il y a des, une trim en plastique qui était pétée à l'intérieur que je veux juste remettre en place pour être sûr de ne pas me faire accuser de ah, « illegal lightweight euh, » du côté des States. Chose qu'on s'entend, une petite trim en plastique ne fait pas une grande différence. Hein? Le trois quarts du temps, je fais mes meilleurs temps avec un passager. T'sais. Fait que mon but, ce pas vraiment d'enlever du poids dans le char. Mais euh, c'est ça, fait que je vais juste l'ajouter euh, pour être sûr de ne pas me faire chier dessus euh, à cause de ça. Euh, sinon, other than that, euh, je pensais peut-être remplacer les badges, le, le, le logo qui est noir, mais euh, ça me tente pas. <rire> non, c'est ça, exact. Vu que c'est tout du monde, je connais pas tout ça, tout. Euh, je veux pas prendre de chance, là, fait que je vais me de donner toutes les chances de mon bord pour que le char soit on top of its game. Fait que ça, comme il l'est d'habitude, fait que Trusty M3, genre, on va essayer de l'emmener à son top. Fait que non, ça, mais pour de vrai, euh, je sais pas si tu venais d'arriver ou si t'es là depuis un bout. Euh, je me demande si je vais pas juste arrêter ça là pour aujourd'hui, laisser ça sécher, euh, puis peut-être mettre les roues euh, plus tard euh, pour aller faire un test drive en fin de soirée, genre m'assurer que ça bouge pas rien, que tout sonne, euh, tout file normal. Fait que ça se peut juste ça, je mets mes roues de route, mes Indy 500 euh, en fin de soirée juste pour euh, le test drive un peu puis aller le brasser, une petite affaire dans quelques curves pour être sûr que tout, 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 tout est correct. Puis ensuite de ça, demain, changement d'huile, tout ça, puis let's go, merci, bonsoir, on est parti, ça va être pas pire. Fait que normalement, demain avant midi, le char serait prêt euh, et final, il resterait juste à le pacter, chose qu'on va peut-être faire en stream aussi. Fait que euh, ajouter les, les outils, les ci, les ça, faire un tour de qu'est-ce que j'apporte du côté des States. C'est bizarre, je vais apporter la bouchine de plus que j'ai que j'ai pas touché, juste au cas où. Je m'attends que ça toffe, je suis pas trop inquiet que ça va toffer. Mais c'est ton jamais. Fait que, better be safe than sorry. Fait que, c'est tellement pas gros, anyway, la boîte, que c'est pas ça qui va être un game changer, right? Fait que, moins, 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 moins. Pas mal ça le plan. Fait que, hey, 
Je coupe le stream là, ce fut un court stream d'une heure trente-sept cet après-midi. Mais en même temps, j'ai atteint pas mal le point que j'avais le goût d'atteindre. Puis comme je dis, euh, là, tu sais, il faut que j'aille chercher mes roues qui sont en dehors du garage. Tout. Là, ça signifie que tout va se mettre à côté de ça. Le changement de roues n'est pas le truc le plus passionnant. Fait que je pense que je vais juste donner la petite goutte de changer mes roues off-stream tantôt. Euh, m'en aller prendre une petite pause, puis ensuite de ça, m'a rattaqué euh, les deux, trois petits knick-knacks. Fait que, s'il y en a d'autres qui se passent sur la vod ou quoi que ce soit plus tard, sachez qu'on est de retour demain matin, 9h30. Fait que, mercredi, le, à 9h30. So, anybody who comes uh, by on the vod, uh, I'll let you know I'll be back tomorrow morning, 9.30. So, see you everyone, have a nice day, and uh, we will complete the BMW tomorrow morning. Ciao!